Origin systems have a strong connection to the sort of complex games that require massive manuals and an A4 pad of paper to play. Times of Lore was an attempt to simplify the role-playing experience by adding arcade-style combat and an easy-to-grasp icon system. It also marks the first Origin game for Chris Roberts, whose name is better known for later games like Wing Commander and the vaporware money printing machine that is Star Citizen. Times of Lore shows Roberts always had big ambitions when it came to game design. In Times of Lore you take a single character through the lands of Albareth searching for the missing High King Valwyn and the usual magical MacGuffin that will save the realm. On the 64 this is hugely ambitious. A massive world somehow crammed into a single load with excellent sprites and backgrounds, this is an incredible technical achievement. Everything works via the joystick and spacebar, which calls up the gauntlet pointer to choose from talk, look, inventory, drop, get, use and offer. Don't forget to press the spacebar as killing certain characters by forgetting to press it will make the game unwinnable. Find items along the way such as potions and scrolls that heal you or blast the enemies as well as food and gold. The ambition of the world does bring up some frustrating issues. Firstly, your character is very slow at the beginning and getting anywhere is a slog, especially given the second big issue, the zoomed in top-down view. You can only see a few tiles in any direction making traversal frustrating and combat claustrophobic. The other major pain is that you can only save at an inn and they are few and far between so you have to travel for ages to save the game. These issues stop this game from being an all-time great as it has a nice conversation system, a large, varied world to explore and many secrets to uncover. A very influential title that is well worth a look for any role-playing fan.
What is something of a technical marvel on the 64 is a rather disappointing release on its big brother. Ostensibly the same game with uglier graphics, a slower pace and the same zoomed in view, this makes no use of the Amiga's increased power and ends up feeling like a slightly more playable version of the fairy tale adventure. A real shame that the game wasn't retooled to take advantage of the Amiga as it looks incredibly primitive compared to something like Dungeon Master.